Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ and every, anybody else who's on my channel. Um, I'm sorry I only got to a few videos. Someone had asked me to please go through my comments and get rid of the filth. Well, there's been so much lately. And, and I do as soon as I see it. it and... Um, Another suggestion someone had made was if you click on the person's name, it will take you to their channel and show you how many, you know, what videos they liked, what kind of videos do they make, if any. And you don't have to make videos, you know, to have some information. But if you have nothing, like you haven't liked anything, you're probably a troll. So that's a good way for you all to know. But click on all the, there's things above. Let me, let me go to one just, just to show you. I'm going to go to Quasar. How about that? Quasar 3. Okay. Now when I click on her name, she's got tons of stuff. There's home and it shows lots of videos that she has uh probably liked which is what went on her on her um home page so what she likes can help tell you what she's about if you click on videos it says this channel has no videos hey jasper hush it means she hasn't made any videos playlists Okay, she's made her own playlists. She has playlists about the T-Rex. I don't know if that's a game. Favorites, her sports videos, some fun stuff, and so on. See? And then you can go to channels. Oh, she subscribed to a lot of channels. So, she is clearly not a troll. When you go to discussion... She actually has some people doing a discussion there. And then if you go to About, it says joined June 1st, 2009. And over here, Description, Yonder and Beyonder and Slightly Off Center. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, most people will put a description, okay? If you're not a troll, you really should go to your channel and put under about, it should say already when you joined. But under description, you should put something about yourself. Been a Christian 25 years. I know the Lord well, but want to know him better. Looking forward to the rapture and blah, 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 whatever. Kind of lets folks know who you are. Uh, that's just my suggestion. What she did is really cute without telling a lot about herself. Now, a lot of us ladies don't want to do that. Men, too. So, that's all right. But you should put something. I like dogs and love cats even better. But most of all, I love my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There you go. That'd be perfect. Okay. That lets us know you're a Christian. Okay? Okay. So, anyway... I wanted to just say, um, I will get, I'm, I'm still a bit under the weather. I'm fixing to go back to bed already and rest some more. And um, I will try to get to your comments as soon as I can. I did answer a few. And that one really, 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 really long one. Where you tore out books of the Bible, you said you took them out. Now, I don't know if you meant you literally ripped them out or you just X'd through them. The Bible says that all scripture is God-inspired and is useful for or profitable for um, instruction, correction, and training in righteousness. And Paul did not go against what Jesus taught. 
Paul went against the Old Testament laws. Jesus died to free us from the laws. We no longer have to kill animals to get forgiveness of sins. You don't have to kill a little bird because you just had a baby. You don't even have to circumcise your child. You do not have to keep the Sabbath. Yes, it's one of the original ten, but Jesus, in his three-year walk on earth, made it clear you could pick grains of wheat, which means... If you wanted to, you had to do some amount of work to prepare you something to eat. He was letting folks know things were changing. Okay? And then, let's see, he healed the sick on the Sabbath. That, to the Pharisees, with their religious spirit, was work. All Jesus had to do was say, be healed And the person got up and walked or even carried their mats, and which was definitely work. You were not even allowed to, uh, let's see, what was that in the Old Testament? They were in the desert. Oh, a man went out and just was gathering a few sticks. I mean, he was bending over and picking up light sticks. He wa- It was kindling for his fire. They had to take him out and stone him to death because he was working on the Sabbath. So the Pharisees got on to Jesus for healing on the Sabbath and especially for having that man pick up his mat and carry it. You see, these things were not allowed. And Jesus was showing they are now allowed because I'm here. I am here. And and he didn't come out and say it. When I die, you will be free from all these laws. He gave us two commandments. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And two Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, he said, under these fall all the laws and the prophets. Which, I never did really understand why it meant and all the prophets. But it doesn't really matter. I guess it means all those prophecies written in the Old Testament that were yet to be fulfilled are still to be fulfilled, but all the laws, the ones that fall under love your neighbor as yourself or love the Lord your God, if they fall under them, then you're still supposed to do it. Like, okay, for instance, if one man's cow got loose and it, ran down the road, and trampled someone's child and killed it. Let's just say they were walking down the road, uh, leading their horses, and the little girl went with the father, and the, the bull trampled it. I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. I'm tired. Let's just say that happened. <clears throat> Was it the owner's fault? If the owner knew that his fence was faulty, and the proof would be that a neighbor had told him, then yes, he would be guilty of murder, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. If he did not know that his fence was broken and the bull had just broken it, And he ran down the road and he ran into the little girl and it killed her. That would be an accidental death. He'd still have to bring an offering and burn it on the altar to make restitution for her death. You see, 
There was animal sacrifices for every little thing. That was not a little thing, but I'm saying, you go look through Leviticus, all those laws he gave to Moses, 613, I believe it was. It was a lot. And nobody could keep them. And here's the thing. He said, if you can't keep the law, if you keep all but one, you're guilty of not keeping any of them. So if, if you go out of your way to keep the Sabbath, but you don't kill animals, and you don't do any of the other things, you're guilty of breaking them all. Do you get it? So Paul merely expounded on what Jesus said to fully explain it to people. Like in Romans, one man keeps every keeps one day special and holy. Another man keeps every day alike. And um that's he I can't remember the rest of it. He's letting us know that if you feel led to keep one day a week as special and holy, do so. If you feel led to just keep every day alike, keep, but keep it holy, then do so. Okay? And I don't didn't even mean to get off on all that. I just wanted to say, bear with me. <laughs> I'll get to your comments as I can. I think I may go video by video by video. <laughs> anyway... I gotta go to bed. I'm so super tired. I probably didn't make half much sense in this, but I hope I did. So with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video so that I can plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections so that we can stay connected and uh, until we're out of here. And I pray that it's any day now. I mean, I hope that it is. We really shouldn't pray Unless we say, if it's, your if it's your will, Father, because we want to pray the Father's will be done. He has a plan, and it's perfect. And aren't you glad? Okay, bye for now. I will talk to you later.